Hey guys. Okay. So I'm going to do a video. Um, okay. So the first part is going to start with liking on his panel. He was, you know, restreaming a certain person's channel and doing commentary over it. And then on the second half is going to be um, another uh, where he was on panel with Gold Star Mom and a few other people. And this is on her channel as well. And so what I wanted to talk about was how liking, I guess, the double standards and the hi hypocrisy that, that he has for certain things. Um, I feel like he's very sensitive to certain, um, how can I word it? Like certain, um, she's trauma in life. And he, the thing with Lycan, it's like, he, I feel honestly like inside he can have a good heart, but when people are, do go after him, he has a way, his defense mechanism is I'm going to go even lower. That's just my opinion. And I have noticed that he seems to say a lot of, you know, um, a lot of harsh things that I would never say. Um, he seems to kind of, well, always wants to hit below the belt and kind of, you know, I'm going to get you because, you know, from whatever, you know, that's just the way that he handles himself. And so I'm going to play this first part here, and this is going to be him, like I said, doing commentary on um, on someone else's, well, on his panel, but he's doing commentary on somebody else's. So let's see here. It's like, no one um, trying to fuck your fat ass, your fat bald ass. Mental Sit the fuck attitude. down, bitch. Puts Guys, down women. Are you going to fuck a, like this ugly, fat, bald bitch? disgusting she literally like she shaves Viral her goddamn head she's and she's pig. like she's like By fucking way, like 50 I years old my head once hey sister for side charity eye. you know she puts like caked on makeup and shit to try to hide the ugly what have you ever and done no for that charity talent like there, you know what i'm saying you piece and she just like shit just sits there like, yeah do you want to and, have uh, sex with I've me never, ever i am british no no man wants to have sex, sex with you are you sure like it are you By sure way, you don't want I've to have sex with me? You're being cheeky. You're being a cheeky little Thank bitch. No. Oh, bless ya. No man ever wanted to have sex with you. In fact, if a man ever did have sex with you, I think that was rape. So, just saying. That's why you hate me. Okay. So, as you can hear him, he talks about, of course, the R word. And um, it really, you know, the reason I'm talking about this is because I'm, and myself, um, you know, um, have experienced, you know, that myself, and it it is a touch a touchy subject, you know, for anybody who's been through a traumatic experience that way. And he seems to be kind of like he picks and chooses who he feels should like. I guess he'll say like, "Oh, well, you're gonna use the R card," you know. Well. You know, and he wants to also say like, oh, well, you don't really know. Like some people just throw it out there so they can win, like, you know, have the upper in, you know, a conversation. But how do you know that they didn't experience that? And I, I'm not saying that there isn't anybody out there who doesn't lie about it. But what I'm trying to say is that who are you to determine that for them? It's like, you know, that's the thing with me is like he's very he's not very sensitive to people who've been through traumatic experience unless it's someone who's really close to him which we're gonna see also in a little bit and I just feel like if you're not really educated in this aspect and don't, don't speak on it like he didn't really have to insert himself in this and he does seem to do the like this kind of stuff in my opinion for content um he likes to insert himself because like he says, content is key, you know? The only problem that I have with that is that he uses certain things that just shouldn't even be touched. Like he'll even say, oh, well, I don't care that you've been, you know, are 
And I'm thinking, no one talks that way. Like, instead of saying a comment like that, just say, oh, you know, I'm sorry that you've been through that. Whether you believe him or not, it's just a normal, like, nice thing to say. It's like, I don't understand where anybody, I mean, even if somebody was lying, I just couldn't be like, you liar, or who cares? It doesn't matter. Like, I just, I, I personally wouldn't do that. Um, and I'm not saying that he needs to be like me. What I'm trying to say is that what is the point of you saying to a person who's been through such a traumatic experience to basically say, I don't care. I don't care what you've been through. But then he wants people to care about them sharing his nudes. And first of all, I will say that people sharing that is wrong. Okay. I don't care how you feel about liking. It's just wrong. I mean, just think about it. If it was a woman who, okay, let's just say he was the one sharing a woman's nudes or something like that. You know, there would be a different outrage. Well, he's still a, a human being. He's still a person. And, you know, it doesn't just because he's a guy, he's a man. He, you don't have a right to send someone's things around. Like, I'm just saying, I know that there would be an outrage. And I, I don't think I honestly believe it's horrible. It's wrong. And I think that that's where a lot of his anger comes from. And so if you align with certain creators that he doesn't like, um, he feels like, okay, well, you're taking their side. So you're okay with them sharing my nudes. And that's how he sees it. So then, you know, he feels like maybe a lot of people didn't stick up for him or um, don't understand the difference of the outrage that there would be, you know, between if between, you know, a man and a woman's nudes being spread around. He's saying that there's a difference and I can understand his anger as far as, you know, sharing his private parts. I mean, I, I know I would be very bothered by it. You know, I would be angry and he has a right to be angry. And, and this isn't even about picking sides. Like I always can step away from everything and look at the overall um, and I think a lot of people run with emotions when they feel like they're picking a side or something. I'm on nobody's side. Like I, I'm just, you know, looking at everything overall. And so I'm not going to just say one way is right. And the other way is wrong, just because I don't particularly like the person like, yeah, Lycan has said some horrible things. And I have video about that. You know, I have videos on that. But was right is right and was wrong was wrong. And nobody should have been sharing this news. And um, and this isn't about even defending him because this video is actually about how he does. Like, I feel that he really hurts people when he's already cut pretty deep himself. So, and, but I see also, I do sometimes see the softer side of him and the caring side of him. Like, I don't think that he really wants to be this whole badass guy. I think he plays it up a little bit, you know, for content, which is, Hey, you know, that's fine. You know, you want to play certain things for content, but also I think that there's a line, you know, where you need to like realize, okay, I have maybe taken it too far. Like, he realized that with the diaries, you know, he said he had to have people really talk to him about that. And you realize, Hey, you know what? I don't want to do that. So I think that was good of him to be able to say, you know what? It was wrong. Um, I do think that a lot of times he does say a lot of things more, just like I said, to hurt people. But anyway, so this is him on another panel. And now he's talking to Lori, who is the one that he had talked about, B and R. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. No empathy. No empathy. That's why you told me. Yeah, that, no empathy. Uh, the only time okay. I'd ever get sex is if I was raped. Okay. And? What do you mean, and? <laughs> what am I supposed to and? be highly uh, triggered or offended about that? Should I be what? sorrowful that I said that? What? What? I what about? have actually been raped, Lycan. Thank you very much. So you triggered my post. Uh, oh, of course. Victim. Another rape victim. Excuse me? You see, you see that, that what really bothers me when he says that, oh, okay, yeah, another rape victim. There is a lot of rape victims. 
like that really just gets under my skin because I'm really trying to not, um, you know, really be ugly on this, but it does get me very upset to hear him kind of be passive. It's like, he just lacks empathy in this area. And I don't understand why he's so, I don't know if he was, I don't know the whole backstory, you know, but I'm sure it's something, maybe he was in line with country Joe or granny's watching something. There's gotta be something that, you know, Lori or something was. And so, like I said, I get that he's angry about his nudes being spread around. I, I totally understand that. However, him trying to hurt everyone that is surrounded by one particular creator or creators and attacking everyone as a whole is just wrong. And not even just that, it, you know, you have to learn to be sensitive to certain topics. And this is one of them, you know, and just hearing him, he kind of just like chuckles at it and stuff. It's like, she just said, Hey, you know what? Like I was raped, you know? And this is where he really could have just said, Oh, I'm sorry. Like I, I had no idea. I'm very sorry about that. But since he's so angry right now because of something else, he's, he's just trying to give this like tough interior that I always see him do. Um, and at this time, I don't know if it's all content or he's just trying to be kind of like a hard ass, I guess. But let me just continue playing it. You all just get like the, the, the like you the, the rape card to play at any point. Of, you are such a piece of shit. How am I supposed you to know all your fucking domestic violence or rape? I don't history? give a shit whether you know about it or not. How many women out there do you think have suffered rape? Oh, okay. Not as many as they claim. Really? Like the Really, okay, like, so. Re really, yes, guys. Really. Uh, like in Lori, like in Lori. I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry Jen, but he's highly he's, emotional. I know. Okay. Highly no. emotional. She has a right to be. I'm we gonna have you. Have PTSD. Go figure that out then on your own. <laughs> okay, and him saying that, then why insert yourself in their business? Like, if you're gonna say, "Well, go figure that out yourself," well, I mean, people can bring that up to you as well with you them spreading your nudes it could be like well, we'll figure it out deal with it you know go to a counselor go do whatever you have to do or whatever but you just choose to be angry all over and take it out in that way and especially like i said with people who associate it with so if they you know handle it that way then you're upset you know so i don't know what makes you any different i just don't get a oh my god okay can like and can you bring her to your channel and you guys discuss that there i know i don't want her near oh, okay. me okay no okay I don't know you want me and me. okay but okay guys <laughs> then all right please Bye. her out please okay so this now is on on um gold star's mom and um, I really like the way Gold Star Mom was handling everything. I think she handled everything beautifully. Like I can tell she wanted everybody on panel. She basically had an open invitation. Anybody can come up um, and talk. And so, you know, she was trying to like let people talk, you know, individually without being cut off, which is kind of hard, you know, when you have people and emotions are heated, I get it. You know, everybody wants to have their own say and she, I, thought she was handling it very well so this is country joe and i think it's um country joe and then um lichen is on also and so they're gonna basically talk about this issue now uh yeah I was, I, what i wanted to ask you amber was so my best friend's larry right uh -huh. so you imagine that you got that your best friend right right and, and somebody says to them, you know what he said, the only way you'll get sex is you, if you've been raped, right? And that woman you've sat with many nights when she's... That's not what I said. Wait a minute, like, and let her finish on... She, she's starting it with a false preposition. Okay, then. okay, sorry, let me think about it. What you said was... The, oh, no, that is what you said. The only way you would get I have sex, the clip. I can literally pull well, it up what, right you, now. Can you say it again, then? What, what I don't have said? to say it. I can bring up the clip because I clipped it specifically okay. so that you, you said, people would stop saying said, the wrong fucking thing. You about, you, I know that you've tried no, no, to no, say don't, don't, don't. 
I don't feel the need to try to paraphrase what I said. I'm going to share it. Can I maybe? I'm going to share it. Just I'm going to share it with everyone here so you can hear what I actually said so you can stop spreading this crap. Okay, that's fine. Gold Star, I shared the clip if you want to play it. No man ever wanted to have sex with you. In fact, if a man ever did have sex with you, I think that was rape. So, just okay. saying. Okay. So, Okay. now if you notice what I said before the rape comment, I said no man would ever want to have sex with you. Yeah, then you said the word rape, right? I said the word rape, but I didn't say that she would get raped. Okay. okay I'll, I'll, that's what you said, okay? And then when Larry confronted you on uh, Gen X's panel and I, and brought that up, you said, um, oh, another woman with the rape card. Remember? when she? Okay. I don't, I'm not acting like a moral authority. Do you I'm know what? Okay, let me ask you a question, thing. CJ. Do you know what hashtag me too is? Yes, of course I do. Okay, are you aware that there's such a thing as a false accusation? Oh, I'm very, I'm aware of it. Happens to me every day. Okay, so are you aware was, of our false rape accusations? Are you, are you of aware of those? False, of course there is. Okay, yeah. so then you are aware then that sometimes someone will pull out a card. Uh-huh. The rape but card. It, it's not a rape card. Okay, yeah. Okay, so he wants to say this, you know, that anybody can pull the rape card. Okay, but who are you to determine if the person was really or not? I mean, that's the crazy part. He wants to throw that out there, but it's like, you don't know. So what are you going to do? Chit chat with everybody who does that? I mean, it's just like, he's just lacks empathy really a lot in this um, area. And I am not too sure why I don't know his history like that, you know, but I just feel like, okay, I get it. So, and there's a lot of people that can throw all kinds of stuff as well, but this is a very like sensitive topic. And I feel that you know, he's kind of just throwing it out there like, okay, well, I mean, somebody could just be making it up. So, I mean, that person can be making it up. So let's just move on. I, I just like, I don't, I don't really like that. He threw that out there. God, when you have been, raped. sometimes they will just to get an upper hand in a conversation or get people to feel sorry for them. So that but was you're my, the one that brought my the perspective on that situation. And that does occur. Okay. It does occur. You're False accusations do occur. Okay. You're the one who brought rape up. To a woman who had been raped she didn't how did I you know another thing that i've heard online and like i said i'm not even like so familiar with his whole like um sharing his nudes i just know something like you can type his name out i guess and find it i don't know i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna find out but at the same time somebody can be like oh well you can just type your name and it's out there you know so i mean i mean if you're out there just put it all out there for everybody to see i mean so does that make it right? I mean, it just doesn't make it okay for everybody just to throw your nudes because it's out there. I mean, yeah, it shouldn't be out there. In the I mean, I've never done it personally. I'm just saying that if you're going to do that, you may want to be a little bit more extra careful and not like share it with everybody. But hey, each to their own, I guess, you know, just be very careful who you're sharing it with, I guess, because apparently this is what happens on YouTube. Everybody wants to go low and then you know, when you don't work out or, you know, someone's trying to hurt you, they're going to really dig in there and try to find something that's really, really going to hurt you. And apparently they found something to use against lichen. And like I said, it's, it's not right. You know, at the same time, he shouldn't be throwing around that people just use, you know, the rape card, you know, and I'm not, like I said before, I know that there is people that do do that, but he isn't, the one to determine who is lying and not lying. So I'm just saying, I mean, I could say he could be lying about his nudes. I've never seen it. And I'm, trust me, I don't want to see it. I'm just saying, I mean, I keep saying the same thing, you know, but I just, I'm not, I'm believing in like, you know, Hey, he seems really hurt by it and bothered by it. And I have that empathy to be like, Whoa, if something was shared about me like that, yeah, I would be hurt. And I would be like, Whoa, you know, and I, like I said, I understand where his anger is coming from. At the same time, he, one, he likes to take it out on everybody who's associated with her, certain creators. And I don't think that is fair. I wish that a lot of the things could have been just solved, but this is YouTube. This is a drama community. Apparently a lot of people don't talk and work things out. Um, so this is why all this is always back and forth and back and forth every day, all the time with different creators.
I bring it up. She um, accosted me on uh, what's her fucking name's channel. Uh, Gen X has entered the room. She came up on that panel to talk that. to me about her rape, which is what you know rape victims well, always do, right? They go up to no people confronting people about their own rapes. Get the why fuck would out he here. be talking over me if he's so confident in what he's saying? Why because I can't stand your fucking saying? manipulation. That's not why. manipulation. It's what happened. And if you would let me speak, you're such a sack. Oh, I know, I know. I can. Um, he he brought rape up in the word with Lorraine. Now I know Lycan didn't know that happened to Lorraine. I'm not saying he knew. How could he know, right? Mm -hmm. But he brought the word up with in, with with her name, right? Which really upset her because she was raped. Okay. Who cares? Then when she went, well, I know you don't. Then when she, when and the way that he passionately says, "Who cares?" She cares. Like country Joe cares. Like just because you don't care, like in doesn't mean that nobody else should care. I mean, she's coming from a friend, just the way that you would defend your own friends. She has a right to, and I don't understand that. Like, why can't people conversate and have a discussion? You know, without like I, I, I maybe I don't know. I, I okay. So this whole YouTube world is very different for me. I don't know if I was just sheltered or I just don't communicate this way. I don't get it. I just feel like I can have a discussion and try to still get my point across, but be, you know, respectful. And um, I noticed like on different panels, and I'm not just talking about this one at all. I'm talking about like, there's a lot of panels that I've, I've noticed that they'll hit really low and like, you could just tell they're really just trying to go at it. And I just feel like when you can handle yourself a lot better then you win more of the argument and that conversation than being such a, I guess, a-hole and disrespectful. You know, I just feel like I'm going to have more respect for the person who's carrying themselves better throughout the conversation. I don't know. That's just was on Gen X's with Lycan. Does she and care about what happened to me in the past? Like, I'm not going to let CJ interrupt. Why is this like all this compassion I need to have for other people when no you one has it for me? You don't need to, but you Fuck need to have that. compassion for me. I'm, I'm only like, trying to explain why I feel the way I feel about you. That's it. Now, you sat on Gen X's panel and you said when Lorraine said, I was raped, Lycan. So she's telling you then, I was raped. And you go, what and? And she goes, what? And you say, oh, another woman with the rape card. I couldn't help but feel for Tiff um, because of the whole thing about the car. You know, rather you knew, rather you, you know, um, were specifically meaning her accident, you know, or not. I mean, you talk about PTSD. I mean, she's admitted that that's given her PTSD. And I didn't, Amber, she put a link up uh, with the weird Al Yankovic song, Fat. And, yeah, I know. Uh, I, I know. went and looked for the wheel. I just yeah. So look. that's totally the same thing, you know. Someone making fun of you because you're fat is the same thing as making someone making Hold fun up. of someone who uh, got in a tragic accident that they had PTSD from and a dead person is involved. Well, yeah. I, I certainly wasn't mocking the immigrant man, Jamie. I wasn't either. That's another thing that you completely spun. I was sent the clip. about what I said. Yeah, anyway. play the clip then. I don't, I don't to remember play. that. I, I, I mean, um, I really, I truly the, don't. What I was doing that. was was showing the difference between the two incidents. One, you people were trying to say that Tiff killed a kid. And I was like, I no, she killed that. a man. Yes, you you and the other one both asserted that. Are you not talking about, is that not what, it's, what it says in the Reddit article? What you can't you go off that Reddit. You don't even Reddit. know what the fuck you're talking Reddit about, dude. Incorrect. So you're saying that it it's not correct that information Reddit that you're Reddit going off of. But why would you? Why would you take a dig at Tiffany for something that that's clearly traumatic, a traumatic experience in her life? Well, Tiff is it, it's one. Okay, so here um, I find it very interesting that Lincoln, you know, wants to say, well, Basically, why would you talk about something that was very traumatic in Tiffany's life? Tiffany is currently his girlfriend. Um, I don't know much about what happened between um, the car situation. The only thing that I'm going to speak on is how he has sympathy for the situation that Tiffany went through, you know, and that is a traumatic experience. 
but not for a rape victim. So he wants to kind of pick and choose and then just be like, but well, you guys cannot ha have like, you know, any compassion and understanding for Tiffany. And, you know, and I'm thinking, well, it's kind of, I guess, hard for people to understand when you don't have any sympathy for rape victims. It's like, um, and I don't have anything against Tiffany, the clips and stuff that I've seen, she carries herself pretty well. I mean, I, you know, I don't know much about the history between them. Um, so I'm not even going to speak on her. Um, like I said, I don't even know the situation with the whole car. I have an idea of what happened, but I, you know, I don't also get my information off of Reddit. I mean, I'm sure it's interesting stuff on there from different things, but I'm just, I don't use that platform really. Um, but I just find it interesting that he wants compassion for his girlfriend, which is, hey, I mean, I think she should have compassion for what she went through. I think that's the thing is that so many people here on YouTube, and I will say this, have, do have and suffer a lot of, um, I guess, like mental health issues. And I think that when we all come on YouTube, you know, we come into certain communities for a certain reason and we gravitate sort toward certain ones for whatever reason. And I think that a lot of people I've noticed are very, um, I guess, sensitive to certain topics, you know? Um, and so I think there's, there is triggers in people's lives, you know, and we all have them, you know, we have certain things that just triggers uh, us. Um, a lot of people have a lot of history with a lot of things, but the point is that I think that if we're going to have compassion, it needs to be all around. Like I've never been in a, in a traumatic experience as far as like, you know, what Tiffany has gone through or other people on YouTube, but I would still have compassion, you know, to know that that's a very traumatic experience regardless. And I don't think that he would appreciate if people would be like, well, she made that whole story up. Or, you know, she's not telling the truth. I think that it would really upset him and really make him mad, actually, you know, because he would be like, well, don't accuse her of lying. So I don't know. I just like, I feel like, I don't know. Everybody has like double standards and they're hypocrites, but, you know, okay, we'll move on. One thing to throw tomatoes back and forth. And it's another one, you know, and I'm speaking this for everyone, like, and it's another one you're bringing up people's traumas and, you know, shit like that, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I think everyone can kind of um, at least, you know, agree to that. Well, you've got to give me, Amber, that everybody's got trauma. Everybody's yeah. got trauma. Oh, humor. well, and yeah, yeah we I can't agree. always know and what somebody's with traumas that. are, that's for sure. But if it's a trauma no. that, you know, you know about, then that's, you know, I don't know. I yeah. think can I give you my perspective on the whole um, thing with Lori when she came up on the panel? On Jane Aix's panel? Yes. Okay. I, I feel like you know this by now, but I'll explain it again. You people were kind of, we were going back and forth pretty good, okay? So at that point, you're kind of like we're at war with the person. So when someone comes and faces you on a panel and they lay something like that on you, right? Are you going to come back with like sensitivity or are you going to like, nope. you know, go back and forth? Like, you know what I mean? Like you're not in that mode to be receptive and understanding and peaceful. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wasn't definitely not in that mode to receive that. You know, yeah, I can yeah. be really sensitive when I'm in that, you know, in a, a in, when it's in an environment where we can all trust each other based on some history of, you know, getting along. But when you realized how upset she was right after it, what is I didn't, it, I'm see, and that's the thing. Was, was the thing is, you I, I didn't think that. She, okay. So my opinion, this is my opinion. I didn't think she was upset over that. I, I thought that she was just picking this thing to play victim about to get attention. That's my perspective on it. Because I my... swear to God, that's not true. Okay. Well, God. if she if she was genuinely hurt by what I said, then I apologize for that. Well, thank you, Jamie. Honestly, thank you. And I have to say that that was very nice that he apologized because a lot of people on YouTube that I've seen never even do that, like at all. Like they have way too much pride. And I could tell that he was just like, okay, you know, if she was really hurt, then I do apologize, you know? Um, and I think it takes him a little bit longer um, to see the effects on someone. And I, uh, I'm going to say this, I feel that he just doesn't, 
it's like he tries like i said to act in my opinion like a hard ass but i think that he does have this little soft spot inside of him you can agree disagree i you know i know how there is a mix of people who like Lycan and who do not like Lycan. I get it. Okay. I get it. Yes. He does say some horrible things. I don't know. Like I said, if he does it just for content or if he wants to be some kind of Howard Stern, you know, where he just kind of wants to, to throw some stuff. And, but, you know, what I'm just saying is that I got to give him that, that he did apologize. And that's, more than I could say for some people because like I said there's some people that just have way too much pride and the reason like I said that I think he has this little kind of hard ass kind of way of him going after people I think that he was very hurt he still is hurt I can tell and he really just wants people to be like okay you guys so it's okay for everyone to share my nudes I mean, I've heard in so many different channels, like, oh, yeah, I got his nudes. I got his nudes. I mean, I, I, that's embarrassing, you know, and I know he doesn't well, like, but like I said, if it was a woman and they were sharing, you know, her nudes, I know that there would be an outrage. So I get his point. And like I said, I'm looking at from both sides, you know, I always have. And like, you can tell there's videos of him that I've done that I totally just like, dude, like what are you thinking? You know, but there is this little kindness that I do kind of see kind of just comes out a little, you know, and you get a little bit of a glimpse, tiny bit. And then there's that kind of Mr. Know-it-all. I, you know, I have this other video that I, I need to look. It's on my phone somewhere, but it, I need to find it. And he kind of just really like loves himself way too much in this video. But anyways, um, so I don't know, like, like I said, I just, I, you know, I was, I'm looking at this, like I said, I look at it as an overall, you know, I don't want to pick and choose, you know, um, sides or anything. And I think I'm pretty fair. I want to keep it fair all the time, everywhere, because none of us are perfect on this platform. Like none of us, I think everybody contributes something. So, you know, no one is perfect. I know there's some, a lot more people that are way up there being, you know, pretty high, disrespectful, mean, a lot of bully and harassment going on. But I have seen a lot more people be a little more apologetic, I guess. Um, whether it's sincere or not, I guess I'm going to leave you guys to determine that. Um, but I just want to do like different topics and different videos and just discuss different things like whether you agree with me or not, you know, and like I said, I try to be very respectful and handle it from a different perspective and not just kind of who everyone likes and who don't like and, and stuff like that. And, um, I think I'm pretty fair. Um, but anyways, uh, make sure you guys comment, um, like, and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy this video and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.